Hi people, just a quick one. Um, I saw somebody wearing these on the riverbank last week and I thought they were a good idea, um, especially now it's winter time and um, fishing on the banks. The river's going up and down because of the floods and that and all the heavy rain and the banks are getting absolutely lethal. So I saw somebody wearing these spikes on their boots and I thought, Looks like a good idea because I have fallen on my ass once or twice. <clears throat> I'm sure we all have. So anyway, I thought I'd do a quick review on these. The ones I got, uh, they cost £21 on Amazon. Oh, sorry. Um, I can't remember the name, obviously, as usual, but I'll put it on the top of the screen. Um, but these are the 25 spike ice cleats, they are. Very bad grammar. It says more tougher and safer. No, oh, no, more tougher and safety, anyway. It's probably uh, from the Chinese. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna slip these off now and let you have a look, and then I'll show you some footage of me paddling about on the bank, uh, not falling on my ass. Right, okay, um, how they go on, very simple. Sheep poo, lovely. Um, I mean, look at the grip on that, absolutely fantastic. Well, I've been walking about for a couple of hours now on banks, 45 degrees, slick mud, wet grass, haven't lost anything. Um, fitting them, self-explanatory, but I'll take this one off just to show you, because I can. These are size 10 forestry boots, which means they're pretty big, pretty big. Um, uh, so I got the extra large size and they fit on here absolutely beautifully. And they just come off and I put them back on. You just put that over the toe. And the good thing is that, yeah, they've got spikes, but they're not super sharp. So you're not gonna, you're not like Pike's teeth. You're not gonna rip your hands to shreds. Get hold of the back piece there and you just pull that uh, over the heel. Have a quick check to make sure that they're pretty much in the middle. And that's it. Um, they do come with this Velcro strap, which you can put on um, and that just goes over the side like that and velcro strap that's just to stop them coming off if you're getting stuck in a tree trunk or something i suppose i don't know these would be ideal for forestry thinking about it yeah not so clever when you're walking on tarmac or tracks they can slide i suppose but yeah brilliant for muddy banks i'll show you some footage um i highly recommend them if you're especially pike fishing in the winter um because it means you know you've got a, a big heavy 20 pound pike or something on there you're walking around on a muddy bank you know what I mean anyway very good very good these yeah they're more expensive uh, than the others but I will point out a couple of things that they mentioned too you got these very strong chains you got good blades as opposed to spikes but what I found best and they do mention in their sales blurb is this reinforced eyelet it means that chain is not going to get ripped through the rubber. That is a hard nylon eyelet. Very good. I mean, I've been bouncing around up and down the banks all day, all, you know, for a couple of hours now. And um, you feel safe. 21 quid. I ordered these on a Friday at about four o'clock in the afternoon. They arrived Saturday lunchtime. Not bad. Free uh, postage as well. Anyway. If you fish the muddy banks, they're brilliant. That's it.